Where were you at 11.15 on January 13th? I believe I was with my wife at our vineyard in Sicily, tending to the grapevines while I looked off into the distance. Knock it off with the cover story. We know it's not true. Don't pretend to be Italian. You're from Mission Hills. We got video of you leaving school premises, and you're a junior. You can't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a Sicilian mob boss. I'm not a junior in high school. I'm like 57. Don't you know who I am? I'm Tony Onioli. I've got 30 years of criminal experience. I'm not a high schooler. Oh, really? You're not a high schooler? Then what's this? This is your school ID. Don't try to fake us out. We got you. It's clearly a case of mistaken identity. I'm surprised you don't recognize me from the wanted posters. I'm wanted in like 17 sovereign nations for pasta fraud. <laughs> That's one ridiculous cover story. You better cut the cannoli, kid. It's not a cover story, you bubba ganoush. I've committed crimes you don't even imagine. Most involving a nice pesto base. If you're gonna keep showing me this kind of disrespect- Disrespect you? Do you know what kind of shenanigans you're causing? You need to sit your butt down in that rigid school chair until the bell rings for lunch. You got that? Listen here, kid. You got until the pasta boils to let me out of here. You're gonna have a whole lot of trouble on your hands. You left early from lunch. You're lying to me now. The only way you're walking out of here is if the Monopoly bozo walks in here and gets you a jail or a free card. I don't need a get out of jail free card, officer. The pasta sauce is simmering. You don't have much time. Excuse me? Are you threatening an SOR officer? All right, you're getting the worst punishment in the book. Lunch detention tomorrow. You mean you're giving me a lunch detention tomorrow and I can just walk out of here and show up later? These terms are perfectly fine by me, officer. I'll see you later. You don't know what you're letting walk out of here. I'm a wanted man. What a pile of schmuck. I'm Tony Onioli. You don't know what you're letting walk out of here. Stage. Was, was that on purpose? Absolutely. Was it a fall? What happened? How many Oscar nominations did La La Land receive? Fourteen. Seven. I'm gonna go with nine. Ooh, that was pretty close, though. Meryl Streep is up again for the Oscar for Best Actress. Um, how many times has she been nominated? Twenty, seven, or eleven? Twenty. <laughs> I'll go eleven. I don't even know who Meryl Streep is, but <laughs> name a movie that she was in. Mamma Mia. I don't know. Sophie's Choice. Yep. Silkwood. Soapwood. Silkwood. Silkwood. <laughs> Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron. Yeah. Definitely Tony. Yes. <laughs> the Lobster is a film up for uh, best original screenplay this year. Um, is it A, a short animated film about a lobster who must escape back into the ocean before he's eaten? B, um, uh, it's, is it about a man whose wife falls in love with a dog that used to be his brother, forcing him to find true love before he is turned into a lobster? Or C, an inspiring story about a shy little boy who moves to Chicago. He's ready to make friends, but there's two problems. One, he doesn't speak English. Two, he has a stutter. Luckily, he meets an amazing teacher who helps him come out of his shell. Yeah, I'm gonna go C, because it sounds good. What? For real? No, For real. Final question, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, uh, what is the best movie you've seen this year? I really liked Split. Why? Because it's a musical, and Stone was so good. I mean, I've only seen La La Land, so I'll go with that. I saw Office Christmas Party, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been terrible. It's just awful. There's a bunch of drunk people flying out the desk. Spotlight was pretty good. Spotlight was pretty good. I like that one. Today is Monday, January 30th. This week, remember to bring in your laundry detergent for the Giving the Basics drive. Girls Basketball has a game on Tuesday at Shawnee Mission West. Good luck to them. The first showing of the Seussical is Wednesday at 7 p.m. I hope to see you all there. Parent-teacher conferences are on Thursday from 5 to 8 and also all day Friday. 
No school on Friday because of parent-teacher conferences, but the boys' and girls' basketball teams have games at Olathe North. And now, over to Jarrett with breaking news. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jarrett Zella. Um, Jarrett, you're facing the wrong way. Oh. Oh, you're right. My bad. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jared Zellup here. Got some breaking news in the White House. President Donald Trump decided to retire. I don't think that's true, Jared. Of course it's true. I'm reporting it, aren't you I? You can't just make fake news. That's not how this works. What do you mean I works. can't make fake news? CNN does it all the time. Well, I'm sorry about that. You guys have a great week. Tony Onioli.